Hey everybody, Dad Bottom here, B O D D U M, and you're listening to Podcast of Pebble PR. Time frames the frames of time. It's like really sincere One 60s time, folk. I was in a time frame, frame of time. Hey, Mr. Government Man, <laughs> when you're gonna change everything we don't like? What's the time frame? It was the time frame, it was a frame of time. I remember one time I... Hey, Mr. Teacher Man, when you gonna teach the kids right with all the things they need to know? What's the time frame? Time frame is the frame of time. <laughs> hey, Mr. Businessman, oh. when you gonna do the things you're supposed to do for us? Oh, that's it, everybody. That's the time. <laughs> that's frame. the time frame. The frame of time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, guess, well. I guess I should take you guys out of the world. Yeah, let's get out of here. All right, you're out. Thank you. Oh, no, I'm still down here. Not, oh, you are. How about now? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. There I'm we back. Go. I'm back. What's going on? Hey, everybody. What, can, I, uh, can I get some more beats in my headphones? It's for reals? Sweet. It needs more heat. How's that? Yeah. It's like fisticuffs. Okay. Turn my shit up. Uh, the time frame, the frame of time, huh? Uh-oh. Uh, I said, give me a word. Uh-huh. He says time frame. Well, and no, I was, I was completing my sentence. I was telling oh, well. I was telling Mike something, and he goes, give me a word, and I, was, I, I didn't. I didn't answer him. I was just still saying my sentence, uh-huh. and the last was time frame, and he typed in time frame. That song came on. I guess the best things happen organically. I do. Yeah, I think so. Time frame, frame of time. It was a time frame. It was a frame of time. It's like like bad (laughs) 60s folk music. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) It was great, though. It was kind of catchy. I I love everything uh, that has reverb on it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's not so good. Yeah, see? Yeah. You think it sounded great. You'd get dropped off in the well, and you, you, you feel. You we feel used to have so we used to have a little reverb on the show, and then you, somebody made the one hundred one point five comment at you, and then CD you stopped 1. it. 1. Yeah, because back then I wasn't. Uh, that was Chris, man. Chris w- was just the audio guy then, um, not me, and uh, I never noticed it until someone said it, and then I hated it. Then you hate because that's all I could hear. Yeah, it's like it, the old school movies when they tell you about the little cigarette burn in the corner. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Inverse Delirium was the show. That I was on, it was a podcast, and the guy put. We were talking about it on the um, episode with um, David Kreisman mm-hmm. a couple weeks back. Um, the guy came. He found podcasters, and what he would do was he would say, "I wrote the script, uh, Mike. You want to play this guy?" And then he would. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He would go out, and then you'd, you'd record at home, send it to him, and he'd cut it into a great episode. Right? That sounds like a lot of work. That's why it doesn't exist. So anymore, much work, right? yeah. So. Oh. Um, he, 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 when I recorded it, I was recording it on our equipment, and Chris still had it all set for the echo. Uh huh. So he kept emailing me back. He's like, Yo, Your takes are really great. Can you take the echo off? <laughs> and I was like, well, Echo? What echo? What, I didn't what are you know, talking about? He had like a reverb set on the, like the, uh, the software that we use. Mm-hmm. Didn't even know. Remember that video game, Echo the Dolphin? Yes. Sega. Yeah. yeah. Sega. I got that little Sega thing. Oh, you did? Yeah. It's what pretty do you cool. Think? It's cool. Like the, the controller, those kind of weird. You could still plug a wired controller in, but you have to. It comes with a wireless one, but it's infrared, so you have to aim it at it. So if you're not aimed at it, it doesn't play, but it's awesome playing Sonic the Hedgehog. Mike, you got the. Uh, what, Pam? Yeah. She, Pam freaked out. She freaked she out. Lovely and talented. She loved it. Um, I'm. I, I can't even describe to you how great it is. How terrible. No. The games are. Oh, no. no. Yeah. yeah. Well, on, the, on, on probably on your widescreen, it looks very. Well, no, you can set it to be letterbox four by three, yeah. so you don't. It's okay. not stretched out or anything. Okay, but, but why there is, is a, there's a cathode because ray tube too. That's I haven't played it on that yet. But oh, you a, have it too. Oh, yeah, there's a CRT setting that you can make it look like you're watching it on an old uh, cathode ray tube TV. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah there's a couple settings. Um, the idea is really cool. Like everything, it's, it's nostalgic. Is it slow I, or something? It, the games are terrible. Wait, it's, it's Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Horrible. No, How is it's it bad? Not. Isn't it just Mike Tyson's Punch-Out? You're not 13 anymore, and you have never have... Ex- like, all right, when you played th- a 32-bit system, 
What was 16, Nintendo? Was it six? Eight was eight bit. No, eight, eight. Nintendo was eight. Sega bit? Genesis was yeah. sixteen. Yeah, you were talking old NES. Yeah, eight bit. Eight bit. Okay, so yeah. you were playing eight bit back when you were a kid, and that's all you ever knew. Versus Pong. Yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> but now I'm playing well, Grand Theft Auto Five for eight hours a day. <laughs> oh, slapping you know hookers. I mean? oh, hold on, <laughs> yeah. hold on. And, and like it's real, <laughs> right? You're comparing it to video games now. Hey, I'm not even into video games now. They're too complicated. I don't even want to deal with it. I'm just asking because I haven't played the, the the new compact nostalgic Super NES, uh, not Super NES, uh, N- Nintendo, yeah, yeah, the NES. new one that's at NES. But isn't the game exactly like the original? It's exactly it like it. So that okay, I thought you were saying it was like lag. No, 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 dude, dude, it is exactly the same. I played Tech Mobile. I played Contra. I played Donkey Kong. Are you saying get bored with it fast? Bored to tears, yeah. and then I realized. Every single game on there is the same game. Yeah. Left to right, up and back, right? It's like uh-huh. Donkey Kong, Mario Brothers, Contra. <laughs> it's all the same yeah, game. But it, it's it's something to be said, though. Like what you were mentioning before, Derek, is like, it's like okay, you liked playing Madden. If you miss one Madden game, yeah. the next time you're like, you know what? I'm just going to skip Madden. What are we on? Like 17, 18 now? <laughs> like I'm going to skip 14. I'm going to jump in at 15. You have absolutely no idea. You're lost. You're lost. Yeah, I, don't, I don't want to play the, the new games, and I don't play the new games. And I, I, I stopped at Guitar Hero, which I still shred every at now and At some then. point, you're just gonna, it's going to be – you're just going to walk into a room, and you're going to be in the environment. You could, you could miss, Pac, you could miss uh, Pac-Man Jr. and skip right to miss Pac-Man. You didn't miss a beat. You didn't miss a beat. Yeah, right? Well, good. Super Mario's got a bow. <laughs> <laughs> I, lo- I love the game Super Mario 3, though. That's, come on, that's fun. But that's I'm, what I'm saying is you didn't have to play Super Mario 2 to understand 3. That's true. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In that sense. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. But anyway. But so now, I was disappointed, dude. Like, mm. you play Mario. I think I played Mario Sunshine on the Wii, and I'm completely lost. I'm running around in circles. I'm trying to jump through paintings. I'm like, this yeah. was a little Italian plumber that was throwing turtles around. Now, I, I, <laughs> what happened to you, buddy? Yeah. What happened? I did win. I did win Christmas, though, the way I gave it to her. Uh huh. Right. Oh, she didn't find it. No, I didn't even box it. Right. So I put it on a shelf because I, I uh, generally speaking, I don't go Christmas shopping. I know you love the holidays, but I just kind of despise it. And you I probably do it ra- on Amazon. You probably can't wrap either. No, I do it on Amazon. I hit the wrap button and oh, okay. write the card, and it comes wrapped and with the card. Oh, all right, but, right? So, but I actually I like wrapping. It's kind of right. like the holiday. Anyway, you so don't- so this had this came from eBay because I won it. Right, right, you did. Right. So I put almost it, one two. I put it on a so you, yeah. so that one didn't come wrapped. So you yeah. didn't wrap it. Didn't wrap it. Put it on a bookshelf right behind, <laughs> right in the living room, uh-huh. in plain sight. Never I turned it so the one side, it what didn't say Nintendo. It just had like words, mm-hmm. words yeah. you never look at, right? Yeah. So I, I put it on the bookshelf, and then I wrapped. I wrote a handwritten written note, like a really nice handwritten oh, note. Oh, clever. Okay. Put that in a box. Mm-hmm. Put I I did wrap that. Put it under the tree, and the last line. Of the note was, and look behind you on the bookshelf oh. next to the picture. Oh, of the you. That was good, at, right? That is sweet. Look at Sentimental Mike over here. I wonder what she did with the note. You're damn adorable. She, <laughs> I don't what know what she did with it. Yeah, I don't know. But with that, what, the note? Yeah. All right. Just, is, is, is the lovely and talented, is she a scrapbooker? I don't know. Is she a, is she a keeper? <sighs> I mean, I know she's a keeper, but I mean, like, does she keep no, things? I know what you're saying. <laughs> she, yeah, I don't know. Anyway. Man, that's good. Yeah, that's clever. So, anyway, that so, NES sits you know, like, directly next to my Xbox One. And like when it comes to like when I sit down and I have time to play and I'm gonna be like should I play NHL game of NHL online with some strange 14 year old in te- uh, Tennessee and talk <laughs> shit to him over the headset <laughs> or should I play Tech Mobile on my NES and be bored to see? But did you did you play as like you know LT and just demolish offenses? See, I would have. Fun, like, did uh, you play as Bo Jackson and you just can you know if you get past the front line, man, you are run, you can run out on an entire quarter. Yeah, yeah. they're yeah. all overclocked. I, I mean, played. The I Bo find Jackson, challenging. The Bo Jackson commercial <laughs> That's hilarious. is better than, than the, the Bo game. Jackson. Come and on. then you know, some dawned on me like you couldn't save. And I was thinking to myself, oh, there's yeah, no yeah. save function. Oh, yeah. no. So how did I get through a whole season of Tech Mobile? You we used play. to brag about our stats. You had to play all night. You, play. you could you could hit pause and walk away. You could do that. Yeah, turn pause off the and TV walk away until mom came around, cleaned things up, and turned off the game. Yeah, now same with all those games. Contra. Well, let me ask you a question though. Zelda. Which Legend. I feel like took me. No, that did save. That, yeah, you could save did, Zelda. How? Uh, it saved on a cartridge, I believe. In yeah. the game? No, we used to get. Was it like Punch Out? I know that with Mega Man, 
it wasn't a save. If you beat a certain level, they gave you a code. Oh, there was code. You had to punch in the code. Right, and I remember dude. like all around, like you'd be in, uh, right. you'd be in the lunchroom, and so we'd be like, dude, I got the Mike Tyson code. Yeah. Like, what? And like, <laughs> oh my God. And then the bidding right, starts. Dude. The bidding starts. Like, yes. all right, I got you two puddings, and I'll buy your lunch tomorrow. I'll get you a nutty bar. I'll get you a nutty bar. You want to, you want to. <laughs> I forgot about the codes, dude. Yeah, the yeah, codes. Yeah, want a King Cone? Now, the, uh, King Cone. <laughs> now try this, Dennis, when you uh, play Contra. Uh-huh. The code, up, up, down, down, left, left right, right, left, left right. right. Be a select star for two players. Just Doesn't start. work. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. The Konami code doesn't work. Doesn't work. No, no. is it is it Contra? I know it's... Or Zykari Word. It's like... It's, it's no, Zikari it's the original Word. Contra. Yeah, up, up, Contra. Oh, because I have it's Super Contra. It's Super C or Super oh, yeah. Contra, so I don't think it's going to work. It doesn't have regular old school Contra? No. no it's Super Contra. Although I, I was playing it, it felt like Contra. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I haven't played it since... I mean, yeah. have you played Ghosts and Goblins? What was it called? No. That game is brutal. It is a brutal game. You, you're you like a... Yeah, there's some on there that I didn't recognize at all. Ghosts and Goblins, I remembered, and it's you get hit once, you lose your armor, you get hit again, you're dead. No health <laughs> meter, it. no health meter, no anything, and the game is brutal. Ugh. Oh, what's that music? You know what that music is. Yeah, it's 2017 right now. It, it is, man. is. Wow. Thank God we made it through 2016. I mean, we we've it. had a few episodes, you know, since. It flies by, though, right? It flies by, it's just like 2017. In Sept- let me throw this at you. In September, uh, PBR podcast will be in season five. Wow. Season five, yeah. and yeah. season what? Three of me? I think so. Mm-hmm. We're, we're we're longer now, second gen than first. Sweet, much longer. Mm-hmm. PBR two point oh. Two point oh. Yeah, that's right. You know what I mean? <laughs> I keep. I think we're kind of like doing like a little kind we of. All, we all just stared at each we other. Just, yeah, yeah. Well, we <laughs> need a moment to absorb of, that. <laughs> I think with this game, with with with. Um, with t- uh, with uh, top or bottom today, we're kind of doing a throwback 2016 a little bit. Oh, you want to do that? You want to? You want? We could do that. I, I mean, you are saying. playing the music. You're putting me in the mood. <laughs> you're priming me. Uh, <laughs> all right, <laughs> man. Yeah. Well, let let's see how let's see how it flows. Let's yeah. see what happens here. Um, let's go top or bottom number one. Um, this one has a comedic flair to it. Let's just yeah, say it's that it's got a little flavor, a little patois. Uh, top or bottom number one, Kevin Hart or The Rock? They mm. seem to have a, a love affair these days. They do. They right. they made that movie. What was it them, undercover? What was didn't it called? They did, two of them? they did fat, the one with Fat Robbie, and then they, they did they did two, I believe. Yeah, I one of my favorite things that they did together was when they periscope at the same time, and and they're like over the shoulder of each other, and they're yelling at each other about who's periscope <laughs> better. <laughs> oh, know. I did see that. Yeah, yeah, I did see that. I feel like we watched that together, and I feel like that's also on YouTube. You can watch. Yeah, you could, like that's up somewhere. I kind of like The Rock. I think we will put The Rock on top. He's done a lot more different things. And I like as a whole. I mean, I think Kevin Hart's stand-up comedy is great, but I think I'm gonna give just as an overall achievement in entertainment. I think I'm gonna go with The Rock. Hmm. Yeah. yeah I, well, I I think Kevin Hart is hilarious. I like Kevin Hart. By the way, he's he's on like he's on a song right now with Trey Songs. Like he has a recording. There's a guy named Three Songs. No, Trey. <laughs> well played, no, Milano. What am I saying? Did, is it, how do you spell it? T R E A. Okay. So Wrong again. Like- Sorry, I, I messed it up. You don't have to fact check that, Sid. T R E Y, Trey Song. Uh, okay. Trey, like well, serving Anna. Well, yeah. count to three in Italian. Uno, yeah. due, yeah. tre. Yeah, tre. <laughs> three songs. And Trey, yeah, yeah. Un de trois. But anyway, yeah, he has that, and he's doing all these other things. And honestly, I don't Ariel, know. Ariel, Ariana Grande? Is her name is Big Nipple? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I believe that's Ariola. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's it's she's all, it's all in the syllable. She's a different performer. Accent. <laughs> yeah, that's a different. That's, you put the emphasis on the wrong syllable. <laughs> I think. Well, anyway, I, I think Kevin Hart's hilarious. I love him in comedic movies. I, I have seen some stand up I like, but I watched this one special, and I really think I just wasn't like I was like this is just not funny. I think a lot of his laughs are just he's Kevin Hart. He has that draw now. Yeah. He'd go up there and be like boogaloo boogaloo. And they're like, haha, it's hilarious. That was pretty yeah. funny though. And I don't know what his <laughs> I don't know what his, his new special is. I'm sure it's bad, but the last one I just wasn't impressed. Anyway. I think it's called Ed. So it's like I, the, I'm a big fan of 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 Kevin Hart, but I'm, I'm gonna put the rock on top. You're, you're giving Kevin Hart the uh, the Eddie Murphy tag. Like all of a sudden now he got famous and big and no, well, well, I'm not no, saying I disagree that. with that. I'm not Eddie Murphy that. is an amazing no. talent to you're, this you're, day. Yeah. Nothing he's done. He's is putting bad. words into my mouth it's, there, Dennis. It's, I would prefer not. It's not it's not true. Uh, Sydney Lesbronce. <laughs> Sydney Lesbronce. Don't put words in anyone's mouth. <laughs> Sydney Lesbronce. Chiching. Our fact checker. Fact check this. Uh, Derek or or uh, Kevin Hart. Who's taller? 
Ooh. Oh, come on. Oh, wow. It's me. I want evidence. I want, like, you know, <laughs> give me some Photoshop. Let's see some metrics Please. Here. Anyway, yeah, I, I, the, the Rock is a great personality, and uh, I, I've known him longer than I've known Kevin Hart, and I don't know either of them personally, but yeah. I put uh, I put The Rock on top. I don't think, yeah. like, you know, I take a couple points away for ballers, but other than that, I think he's... I yeah. love ballers. Well, you would. I, I you know what I love in that show? Rob Corddry. He's great. In it. Is it still on? Did it do yeah. season two? Oh, yeah. How was it? It's good. Better than one? And do you know that Denzel Washington's son is the, the, the lead... Um, the, the football player, the black, oh, the black is dude, it the really? beard. I didn't know that. Denzel's getting old. That's man. Denzel's yeah. son. I didn't know that. But anyway, I watch that show. It's starting it's, to get it's that neck. It's NFL entourage. Yeah, Did you starting to get that old person neck. HBO used to have a really good one, a really good football show. I forget what it was called. Um, Unnec- uh, Unnecessary roughness was that? No, it? no, no. That was, that a was movie. the movie. It was like a third. 30- was Playmakers? No, I was don't know. Really behind, behind the scenes of like teams. No, were, no, no, not uh, 24. Inside the huddle? No, that's no. It was a comedy. It was like a 30 uh, minute uh, comedy uh, back in the day. Ah, Sydney. To change. Find exactly. that Did you ever was see called. Playmakers and how like that show was was awesome? And then ESPN stopped producing it because the conspiracy was that there was a uh, the the NFL was like you're getting a little too close to some of our real players here, and we're having a lot of pushback and static. Side note, real quick. Uh-huh. Speaking of ESPN, Chris Berman, Boomer, the Swam is retiring from NFL primetime. Good. What? I love that nah, he's, he's the best. I, I had to stop watching. Oh, come he on. He used to be no, the best. No, he is the best. He used to be. He's not retiring from ESPN. He's going to show up at certain things. But, like, dude, Sunday NFL countdown and Monday night primetime. Stopped, stopped watching. That's my guy. Oh, he, come on. I, I agree with you. He's so quick. Ten he's years great. ago, man. No, he's still He's great. gotten, like, really old. and not. And he looks old, but he's still crushing it. He could no. go all and Tom the Jackson the retired. They should have went together. Raiders. Well, he, came, he was amazing. I'm not taking well, that away like, from him. Well, I think because Tom Jackson wasn't there this year, it seemed a little off. I didn't like it. Yeah. So, like, it, it, it was weird. They didn't have a round table. It, it was just kind of like Boomer and a guest every week. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, just, just shout right. out. Boom. Yeah, I'm sure he listens. Yeah. He does. So, are, you, are you yawning? Well, I've, Dennis! I'm waiting for the coffee to kick in. <laughs> Top or bottom, number two, Jay Miller hmm. or Donald Trump? Ew. Ooh, well. I just hope this question gets back to him. <laughs> I'm going to go Jay Miller on top. Jay Miller is You're purposely putting funny. Jay Miller over POTUS. I am. I am. I'm putting him over the POTUS on this <laughs> one. because I uh, like, POTUS elect. Like his jokes might hurt a feeling, possibly, but... Trump's jokes could get us into World War III. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so, yeah, Jay Miller on top. All right, all right, all right. Well, I got to tell you. Okay, Uh-oh. first off. I forgot Donald. I forgot Donald he's going to be here. First off, I just got here. I just walked in. Okay, Mike, you're an idiot. That's, okay. Who's this Dennis guy? Uh, okay, I don't <laughs> like him. Anyway. Uh, me I'm going to just do this for Jay Miller. Don, get in the well. It's a, oh. it, I don't if, uh, he, he dragged me down with him. <laughs> excuse me. Did you say wall or well? Okay, because <laughs> if I'm in a well... There's obviously walls around me, so this is fine. Okay. He's immune to the well. He doesn't even care. I, I don't know if you know, I could climb walls and wells. Okay, it's fantastic. I do a great job. These fingers, my hands, they say they're small. But they could really grab some right in the grout. <laughs> <laughs> Don, uh, Don, are you offended that people say we're going from our first black president to our first orange? <laughs> I got to say, my skin color is fantastic. Okay. It is It is absolutely, it, I, I call it cream. Okay. It's cream. It's like an orange Julius. <laughs> the meme of the year. Orange is the new black. Orange is right? the new black. So anyway, me on top. Okay, Derek, what do you think? Oh, thanks, Don. <laughs> um, well, <laughs> I think... He throws it to himself. He threw it to himself. Threw it to myself. I didn't throw it to myself. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> that was Don. That was, that was Donald Trump. Oh, what it was was Derek. art. Is what it was. It was art. <laughs> oh, Derek, what do you think? Oh, oh no. Thanks, Arnold. <laughs> Arnold. Hey, yo, Derek, what do you think? <laughs> I wish he would come out with a new movie. So you can like it could be irrelevant in person. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You might as well well, now do he's it. the host of the uh, the Apprentice. No, oh, not Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Or, or, He'll always be relevant. Uh, 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 what's Jeff, his name? Jesse what, Pinkman. We don't even know his no, name. No, I know his name. John Michael Montgomery. No, <laughs> Jan Michael Vincent. John Wilkes Booth. Uh, John Cougar Mellencamp. <laughs> anyway, we're getting off track here. <laughs> like you were saying before, maybe we kind of do a th- throwback to 2016. Jay Miller. Well, everyone knows who Donald Trump is, right? Right. So if you don't know who Jay Miller is. Right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm maybe with, I'm maybe as, with you. Uh, you know, I, I think maybe him on top because he did a great set at the um, Asbury Park Comedy Podcast uh-huh. he Festival did, he did. that we produced. Can we? So I'm gonna go Jay Miller on top. Are I'm, you throwing? Are you throwing a curveball here? I'm kind of throwing a curveball right now. But I mean, it, it, it's up to you. You didn't do your top or bottom yet, but I'm saying. All right, listen. Can we play a clip of of him? We, I, I, that's fine. That's kind fine. Of like but 2016 I think, review a little bit. I think I'm. I, I think we can. 
but I think we're going to need some kind of magical sound to make that happen. Mm. Diddly, 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 diddly. No, that's not it. That's, that's not definitely it. That's not it. That was totally that's, not it. That was the wrong sound. It. That's uh, but you didn't. We didn't do your top or bottom on that. Jay Miller completely on top, right? I love Jay Miller. He won't. We have. We no longer speak since the election. He well, won't talk to me. Well, that's I've weird. Been on set with him many really? times, like face to face. He doesn't talk to you. We don't talk. Come Give on. me one word. Time. Time. Here. All right. So oh, that's that's an easy word. Anyway, for the listeners out there, Mike just typed that into YouTube, and he's, the first song he's playing will be the magical. <laughs> Not that well, one. That, that sounded that awfully sounded, like time. Awfully similar. It smells fantastic in here. I gotta say, it feels, yeah, it smells fantastic. What is that gravy? Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Now playing. It's a little threatening. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you said time. I typed in time. First Ooh. thing that came up. Do you guys remember 2016? First off. Oh, I be- fondly. I became the president elect. Okay. It was great. Dom, why don't you uh, introduce our next act? Okay. First off, this guy loves me. He's fantastic. He says he doesn't, but he loves me. Okay. From the After Park Comedy Podcast Festival, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be fantastic. Jay Miller. Without further ado, Jay Miller, everybody. Oh, my God. Hey, is there anyone who doesn't like me already? Because I'm super self-conscious, number one. I also... I came out, I feel like some of you are already like, fuck this guy, and I feel like I hate myself enough that I agree with you. <laughs> fuck me. I mean, I wish we could have played the part <laughs> where he danced. That doesn't really oh, play well over a podcast. Dance right? was great, and the outfit he had on, and he changed on stage, which I thought was phenomenal, oh, which was, yeah. for a lot of people, they think like maybe that wasn't planned. And stand-up comedy and all that stuff, it's all planned, okay? But it was fantastic. It was fantastic. I mean, a lot of his act was visual. It was um, fantastic. I would just, for the record, you know, I, I love Jay Miller, and uh, I hope great. one day we speak again. I can't wait for that. <laughs> I do, too. Maybe it'll happen on our show. Politics should never end friendship. It Remember shouldn't. that, people. Top or bottom number three, because that's what we're doing here. Jim Florentine or Robin Quivers? Oh! oh. Yaki. Now we're in the groove. Hey, all right. 2016 PBR Podcast. Dennis! I see what Frankie's doing with this list. You think yeah, so? Yeah, I can tell. All right, because, uh, I mean, Robin Quivers is a legend, airy sidekick mm-hmm. in terrestrial and satellite radio. But she don't make me laugh the way Jim do. Jim's stand-up's good. I like his uh, run on crank yankers. Yankers. He can burp on command, so that, mm-hmm. that hits, like, the five-year-old in me. I'm going to go Jim Florentine. So I, I do listen to Howard Stern, and uh, I'm I, I like Robin, but I can't say I'm a big fan of, of Robin. I really, she keeps that show solid. <laughs> like that show, like the Berman man, I, lost his lost his ver- vibe when Tom Jackson retired. If there were no Robin, there would be no Howard Stern. I get that, but she. What, what I'm saying on the air, I'm not saying I'm not a fan of hers. I just, I, I, I don't know. I feel like I'm on like maybe Howard's team and stuff. He's always like making fun of her about being like kind of like pretentious and very like oh you have to do this and you should do this and like, they always play the music when she starts talking basically but anyway um <laughs> or jackie used to sing i'm going I'm, I'm going florentine on top uh jersey guy very funny guy his voice is very like this yeah which is raspy. Kind of interesting very raspy and um he uh he crushed it at the pod fest as well so i think yeah. we're on a little theme here but yeah it, 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 I, I, I mean florentine sh- on top we got i guess like can you make that happen again you want to hear another word no we're going to do the same song? Yeah. Oh, you want to? Sure, give me one. Yeah, another magic word? I mean, listen, we can't just go back in time. Um, no pun intended. None. None, even, uh, none understood. And just play things from the Raspberry Park process. We need music. We, we need uh, some kind of sound. Raspberry jelly. Raspberry. Ras- oh, that's going to be awesome. Raspberry jelly. What do you think it's going to... What do you think? I, I don't know. Be, I, I'm, I'm hearing something jazzy, but a little poppy. All right, first one that's not an ad is what I'm doing. Right? Yeah. So raspberry jelly. You need a website. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, like After YouTube the ad. Is, it's out of control yeah. these days. <laughs> Skip. Skip. <laughs> oh. Th- this th- is uh, the sounds of raspberry jelly. And oh. we're going to bring this one in with a little Arnold Schwarzenegger. Frankie introducing in here looking a little Jim emo. Florentine. Hello, Frankie. Hello, everybody. Now, you're about to listen to from the Asbury Park Comedy and Podcast Festival. I wasn't there. I'm sorry. I was practicing for The Apprentice. <laughs> Jim Florentine. Now. 
<laughs> it's a video of a woman picking raspberries off of a tree. Is what you're hearing in the back. Is that what's happening right now? It's what's can, happening. Can you feel it? I can feel it. <laughs> All right, I can feel it too. I can't I see it, it, but I can feel it. Enjoy. My wife has been pretty busy picking berries since we got back. Oh. Home. <laughs> All right, give it up for Mo doing a good job, right? Host this thing. Everybody you guys seen tonight, give him a hand today, this afternoon. How's it going, Asbury? All right, four people. All right, great. I'm from New Jersey. Well, that's never got that good of a response ever when I've said that. It's just weird because when I tell people I'm from New Jersey, people always want to know where and I don't know why. It's really not that interesting. We live here. We know, right? I'm doing a show in like the middle of Tennessee a few weeks ago. The guy said, dude, you're from Jersey? Where? I'm like, why? You eat dinner at the Walmart down the street. Does it really matter? What town I live with, 17 states away. So I tell him, I'll get you at a town called Old Bridge. He goes, oh, okay. And that's it. Now, I feel like I got to continue the conversation. He started this. I got to fill in the time. I go, why, you still live in Jersey? He's like, no. I'm like, wow, this is going great. I go, you ever been there before? Nope, never been there either. Like, I'm just curious, why'd you bring it up? He goes, um, I have an aunt that lives in New Jersey. I go, wow, that's fucking fascinating. You tell me you have an aunt that lives in the same state as me? Get out of here. We got to start telling people it's really weird. <laughs> Who gives a shit? I'm a big sports fan. I don't like any of the local teams, and that's a problem. Like a big pro football fan, I'm supposed to like the Giants or the Jets, right? Living in New Jersey, pretty much. I like the Miami Dolphins, and I guess that's an issue. Yeah, for the, boo, I don't, I don't coach a team. What do I give a shit? <laughs> right, but for the last, like, 20 years, four times a day, I've had the same conversation with people. Wait a minute. How could you be from New Jersey and like the Miami Dolphins? Who gives a shit? I don't know. When I was a little kid, I liked the colors, and I stuck with it ever since. <laughs> That's the truth. One guy's drunk the other night. He's driving me nuts. He just couldn't go on on and on. Finally, I just go, out. Right, I got to end this. I go, yeah, it's a weird story. When I was, like, uh, seven years old, I had a dolphin stuffed animal. And I got a boner one day, and I cut the back of the dolphin open. I fucked the dolphin. I'm like, oh, this feels really good. I'm going to be a dolphin fan. <laughs> He's like, that's way too much information. I go, you want me to tell you why I like the Giants in baseball? He's like, I don't want to hear it, man. <laughs> Who cares? You guys are good. I'm not just saying that. I got a five-year-old son. I just found out the other day that he's not gay. How? I'll tell you how. Because I got him into rock music, right? And there's a couple bands out now called Hailstorm and the Pretty Reckless. Oh, yeah, you're right. And they both got good-looking girl lead singers, right? So watching the videos the other day, and at one point, he's like, Dad, my penis gets really big when I see these girls in videos. I'm like, yes, nice. <laughs> I go, we have something in common, son. And the next day, watching me, and he actually whipped it out. He goes, look, Dad, look how big it is. I go, don't ever do that again. That's messed up. He's like, are you mad at me? I go, yeah, because me and you are the same size already. He's five. He's got more girth. Okay. Ma'am? A little too edgy for you? It's going to get worse. Just hang in there, right? Right. <laughs> you got kids too, sir? No. Nobody? All right. Nobody's got any. You do, right? How old? 24, 21. All right. 24, 21. They're out of the house. Yes. Yeah, nice. It sucks. The worst part about it is the cliche questions you get when you kid, you know, when you have a kid. People go, oh, I can't believe he's five already. How old do you think he was going to be? <laughs> well, I haven't seen him in three years. Then he's three years older than the last time you saw him. How old are you? I was 38. Now you're 41. Did you think he was going to be nine? <laughs> oh, he got so big. Yeah, that's what happens with kids. I don't know if you know that. You know, you feed them, they, they get bigger. They don't shrink. You don't see a kid three years later. What the hell happened? He used to be up to here. Yeah, you know, he's, yeah, he's Benjamin Button now, you know. <laughs> I love hanging out with him. It's like being five again. It's great. Like, we go into a supermarket. He came up with this, right? Somebody walks by us. He goes like this. Sorry for my dad. And then he runs away and leaves me hanging. <laughs> it's the greatest joke ever. And I can easily ruin it by going, hey, that was my son, but I just take the bullet. I go, yeah, I got a lot of gas today. I couldn't hold it in. It's beautiful. Yeah. He wants to do stand-up already, my son. He's five. He's already, he already sang, my nephew has a band. He's already sang up to uh, Stone Pony twice already in front of like 200 people. He's five. He's fearless. He doesn't care. 
right? But now he wanted to do stand-up. So I'm doing a show at the Stress Factory a few weeks ago, right? So he goes, Dad, I want to I want to come up. I want you to bring me on stage. I want to tell some jokes. I go, okay. So we're driving there. I go, all right, I'll do my time, like 15 minutes, and then I'll bring you on. He goes, perfect. So we're driving to the show, and I go, okay. I go, what, what kind of jokes are you going to do? He goes, don't worry, I got it. You'll see him when I get up there. Well, it's pretty cocky for a five-year-old, you know. <laughs> I'm doing this a long time. I got to prepare. He's like, oh, I got it. Don't worry about it. So I do my set, right, and I bring him on, and he gets up there, and he forgets everything because he doesn't have anything. So he's like, um, ah. Uh, he's like, uh, I'm like, what are, what are your jokes? Like, uh, and then he starts crying. So I'm like, all right, you know what? There's not going to be any jokes today, whatever, next time. I felt bad. So I bring him off the stage. We go in the back room, right? He's crying, and I go, what happened out there? And he goes, you stole all my jokes. I go, what are you talking about? Because you did all my jokes and I had nothing to say. I'm like, what jokes did I steal? He goes, that was my Applebee's joke. I go, tell me what your Applebee's joke is. He's like, and, and that, uh, Facebook, that was mine. I go, you don't even have a Facebook page. What are you talking about? And then on the way home, like, you know, he's mad at me. You know, and he goes, some woman said I was cute and it threw me off and I started crying. I'm like, all right, whatever. I go, yell at her next time. But we're driving home and he's... He's, he's looking out the window like this. I'm driving straight ahead. It's quiet in a car. I'm, I'm in a relationship with this. We're, we're fighting. Right? So then I go to him. I go, hey, did you, did you laugh at any of my jokes when I was up there? He goes, no. I go, well, there was a couple guys before me who were laughing at those jokes, their jokes. How come you didn't laugh at mine? He goes, I didn't find you funny. I'm like, you motherfucker. No ice cream for you tonight. <laughs> Little bastard. Anybody married in here? All right, a few. A lot of enthusiasm in that. <laughs> Who's married? How long are you married for, sir? Uh, 16, years. 16 years. How's it going? Not bad. Not bad? Could be better? <laughs> Good. Good. Even. Even. No, up and down. no up and down. Just, yeah, just status quo. Yep. That works. Do you guys live together? <laughs> yeah, see, that messes it up. <laughs> Most of the time. All right, 16 years. I actually got married in Asbury right outside the uh, convention hall on the lawn out there. Yeah, and I had my reception at the Berkeley. That was 2012. And I was divorced two and a half years later, so thank you guys for being here. <laughs> yeah, I'm divorced a year and one month now, so thank you, yeah. It really worked out. I'm 0 for 1 in Asbury. Yeah, that's all right, yeah. My next one will be in Bradley Beach. We'll see how that works out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what are you gonna do, you know? You know, look, the problem is I always, I like the train wreck. Anybody else? Anybody else like train wrecks? Do you right there, sir? Right, yeah. You know that girl that's like in her mid-30s, never been married, no boyfriend, no kids, lives by herself, and you go, what's wrong with her? That's the one I pick. <laughs> you know, it's so beautiful, it's almost like a mansion on the outside where you got to stop and stare, but then you open that door, completely ransacked on the inside. Fecal matter stuck all over the walls. That's the one I pick. And that's a lot to put up in a relationship, but I'll put up with all of it. I got no problem with that. The only thing I won't do, and I, we talked about it before we get married, is cheating. I caught my wife cheating. I divorced her. I threw her ass to the curb, so fuck her. Throw the, throw the cheaters out. Don't put up with their bullshit. Oh, what was the mistake? No, it wasn't. It was all planned out. Don't buy into their bullshit. My situation was a little weird because I caught her having an affair with a 22-year-old kid that lives at home with his parents and is still in college. Nice, right? Yeah, but I, had a, but I had a good prenup, and I got my house, so God bless America. Nice. <laughs> yeah. And I threw her out, so I go, where am I going to go now? I go, move in with his parents. Maybe I got a spare bedroom. I don't know. <laughs> That's what I said. I go, if I don't have a spare bedroom, just move into his room. I mean, that was a good boom, my Max. Think about it. She left a house, five bedrooms, three baths, and now she's sleeping in a race car bed, so there you go. <laughs> She's actually closer in age to the father than she is the 22-year-old that did the math. I go, you should have an affair with the father. At least you got the master bedroom, you know what I mean? You know, nice big closet, you put your skeletons in, it'd be nice, you know? Yeah, whatever, it happens, what are you gonna do? She's still with him, she loves him. She's like, I wanna grow old with him. I go, you can't. You're gonna be dead by the time he's old, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> it's just weird, because he lives in my hometown, he goes to college right around the corner from my house. The only other comment with this 22-year-old is him and my five-year-old son are both in the same school district. <laughs> That's a true story. <laughs> Look, I'm not up here for any sympathy. Whatever, shit happens, you move on. It sucks for a little bit, you whatever. 
The bottom line at all is, is I got the whole house to myself now. I don't think you guys understand what I said except for you two. I got the whole house. Yeah. Let me break that down even further. Everybody lives with somebody in here pretty much. You ever have that day, maybe that whole weekend, where that person is gone and you're walking around and go, man, this is pretty nice. I got that every day of my goddamn life, okay? I put my son, my son plays drums. I put his drum set in the living room. That's a man that lives by himself. And you know why I did that? Because eventually I'm going to meet somebody and she's going to move in, right? And the first thing she's going to go, really? The drums in the living room? Yep, grandfather in, motherfucker. Sorry. Not moving. Yeah, what are you going to do? Um, see, now i got to get back on the dating scene. I've pretty much been, this is the first time in like 12 years. Got another long relationship before my marriage. i got to get back out there. And I'm trying to date women that I can have something in common with. Divorce with the kids, we have something to relate to. The problem is the girls i met so far, they're getting divorced after 10 years. And they're back on the dating scene after a decade. And they're rusty. And all they want to do is make out. Because when you're married, you don't make out anymore. The married people, you know, right? Yeah, right away. You don't make out, right? What's that? No, not right, yeah. So now I go on a date, and one girl's like, don't you just want to make out all night? I'm like, no. This isn't prom night. It's a Tinder date, you know what I mean? <laughs> what am I, 14 years old? The woods are over here? One girl's like, I just want to kiss you all night. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> I actually tracked down their ex-husbands on Facebook. Oh, you didn't kiss her for 10 years? I got to deal with this shit now? I don't know. If, if you're in a relationship and you're having some problems over here, I feel like you might be. I don't know what's going on over there. You 16 years over there. All right, stay in it. It's a nightmare out there. Work them out. Maybe he annoys the shit out of you or whatever. I'm telling you, you don't want to be out there. It's a nightmare. It's, right, anybody that's dating knows what I'm talking about now. Especially with social media, forget it. That's a whole other wrench thrown in there. I go on one date with a girl. The second date, she's like, who's that girl on your Facebook page? Like, you tell me, you already did the research on her. You know everything about her, what high school she went to, her old boyfriend, you know what I mean? She got relatives out in California, you tell me. Holy shit. One girl, we went on one date, we're setting up the second date, right? And I call her and she goes, uh, can we have a talk? I'm like, already? We only have one day, we're already at the talk stage? She goes, you know, I started following you on Instagram after our first date, and you didn't follow me back. Uh, sorry, I'm not a 16-year-old girl. Sorry, I didn't, uh, I don't know. I'm a grown man with a house. I got, I, got a, I got a leaky roof. Sorry I didn't check my Instagram page as the fucking water was flying into my kitchen and ruining everything in my cabinets. I had 17 buckets I'm empty, and sorry I didn't look at my Instagram page. <laughs> Holy shit. I bet you didn't even look at my Instagram page. No, I didn't. Uh, let me guess. You put food on there? Because that's what Instagram is. Everyone just takes pictures of their food and posts it. It's a weird thing, cause you, and you have to like it. You know what I mean? Whether at a restaurant, they take a picture of it like they're going to eat. I have to like that. Why do I have to like that? You got hungry, and now you're ready to eat. Why do I have to like that? I don't get that. Eventually, you're going to have to eat. Do I have to, you know? Or you make a meal, and then you take a picture of it, and then you wait. Because that's what people do. They sit there. They don't even eat it in case they have to do a reshoot. Right? You, you're, you know, right? You don't know. You might have to do a research. And they're like, wait a minute. I have six, 672 friends. Only, I only got three likes. What is going on here? Oh, you know what? I, maybe I put the broccoli on the wrong side of the plate. Let me delete that. Put it over here and then wait. Right? Pretty much? Yeah. It's weird. You know what I mean? People are taking pictures of their food. I don't understand that. Like we've all, remember, we're kids even now. You go through your mom and dad's old photo albums. Imagine flicking through, all of a sudden you see spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> and you're like, Mom, what's this? I, I cooked this for your dad in 1972 <laughs> after the Mets won the pennant. He was a big Met fan. Why'd you put it in here? Yeah, I, I don't know. This is weird. <laughs> Next page. What's this? Wow, oh, this is the pot roast I cooked for your grandfather in 1976. He really liked pot roast. Okay, did you have to put it in the... Yeah, I don't know why I took a picture of it. That is kind of stupid. <laughs> Holy shit. People are impressed with their food, though. They love it. You know what I mean? 
Sometimes they're so impressed, right? They'll actually put on a food porn. Really? I'm not getting an erection looking at your broccoli and ravioli plate, dude, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not all of a sudden, you know, talking to my friend the next day. Yeah, I masturbated twice last night. He goes, what, really? What porn site you go to? I go, no, you see Jeff's beef stew? Holy shit. You guys have been a great crowd, man. Thanks a lot, man. You guys are awesome, man. Thank you. I mean, Jimmy kind of killed it, right? That was no, good. That was good stuff. I, I mean, love- raspberry jelly into Jim Florentine. Where else are you going to get that, folks? <laughs> I love nowhere. I, I, I love the part where he's, uh, whether we played it or not, but I, I, the part where he talks about his kid, and his kid said, like, Dad, you stole my, you stole my material. <laughs> I thought that was great. Great. Bit. I guess I'll put, I'll put Jimmy on top as well, although I, I like uh, Robin Quivers, Quivers used to do ayahuasca. She yeah. did no, she didn't or use she to do it. She went and did it's it. Something and it you was like, do, right? you don't... She went and did it and she like crapped and threw up like crazy and, and yeah. Howard's like, Why would you ever do that to yourself? And she's like, It was an experience and it changed my life. Yeah. Apparently but, it's a life changing hallucination. Yeah, yeah there was a there was a the reason I'm cool. I, I don't I'm good with it. I don't need it. The reason I brought that up <laughs> Could you imagine if Derek went to, I just changed gears. <laughs> could you imagine if Derek went and did I- ayahuasca oh, and no. it turned, it know. made him not love himself anymore? Oh no. Like he saw He would have to deal with all his characters. Please. The world would crack. But Come I, on. I just saw like a true life on it and it was like really freaking it made me, it true reminded life me of ayahuasca? Yeah, it was on MTV too. Like mm-hmm. right, you saw it? I'm, I don't know. I see that. Chelsea Handler. MTV did a still whole, on TV. Yeah. She did a whole thing about going oh, down yeah. there and prepping for she it. She has that special on Netflix where she did it because it was it, I think it's called Chelsea she, Handler Does. Chelsea or, Does or something. Chelsea Does, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen it, but I, I saw the first six. It was very good. Yeah. Very fun, good. She's funny. Clever stuff. Let's keep this one quick, all right? Top yeah. or bottom number four. Chris Ladondo or anybody. One, two, three. Anybody. anybody. Okay. Top. top or bottom number five. <laughs> Stephen Wright. Hey everybody. It's Stephen Wright here. <laughs> or Gino Bisconti. Oh man. You have a lightning bolt? Just do an impression of a lightning bolt, and that's you know, I mean, they're exactly <laughs> exact opposites, right? YouTube, either one of them. Yeah. Side by different side. Different energies, different deliveries. If you're not familiar with Stephen Wright, old school comic, one liner guy, clever as all anything. Kate so Billy's clever. Billy's super sounds of the 70s. Yeah, he yeah he's, he's got like long hair, and he's very like this, but he's great. So. Frankie, give me one word while they're still talking. Believe. Believe. All right, I'm going to put, I mean, I was at the show. I was at the podcast festival. Gino Biscont. Literally, they say my sides hurt from laughing, mm. but that's usually just an expression. My sides hurt from laughing. He just rapid fire set up punchline, punchline, punchline. He didn't stop. So I, I'm going to put Gino on top. Yeah, I love Steve Wright. I respect Steve Wright as a comic Absolutely. forever, but I also know Gino personally, and he is a machine gun of comedy. He just, is. I, just, uh, I mean, listen, he's been he, on our... He, a, a, a machine gun. Well, the first time I met this guy, like I, I had to like grab the wall, and I was like, ugh. You know, he's, he's, he's so much energy, but he's the nicest guy, great dude. Gino on top. Clearly, clearly. Hilarious clearly. at the pot fest. Hilarious. And some people are like, hey, he's so vulgar, but honestly, like, there's always a good message in his comedy. It's very funny. Super smart. And it's super, super smart. Why don't we play a piece of it? Uh, here's the song that came up. What was I the word? Believe. 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 Was it Josh Groban? Brooks and Dunn. Oh. Uh, and I don't know. Like uh, maybe um, who should introduce this one? Pinkman. Old man Wrigley lived in that one. Kind of don't like Jesse Pinkman. Kind of like don't like Jesse Pinkman. You know. You yeah, know what? Let's keep it in the tradition well, of the Podfest. Uh huh. And why don't we have? Um, let's say. Bob Shubin Jr. Bob Shubin. Is he here? Is, can we get him? Can we well, get he him? Was, was he at the pod fest? No, but he's performed at the House of Independence. Yeah, yeah that is true. Is Bob Is Bob? Here? Bob, you want me to go get him? Hey, how hey. about right? Oh, oh yeah, hey, I'm a good inner. I was going to say, why don't we have Dennis yell for Bob? First off. Oh, I've been amazing. First off, the fact that I'm here, i got to tell you guys. You guys are terrible. This is the worst show I've ever heard. Okay. <laughs> Second, you need a used car. You come Lost to me. Okay, Bob Shubin Jr. Hey, how about it? Anyway, uh, we're going right to this. Uh, we're going to... Uh, what, uh, Gino Subs? No, it's not, no. Not Gino Subs. What, is, what am I talking about here? You tell me to say it. The comedian Gino Bisconti. Bisconti. From the Asbury Park Comedy Podcast. Oh, I, I, I love Biscotti. I love it. That's <laughs> why I eat it all the time. I love that. He's That's not right. a cookie. He's, He's not, not a, Gino the cookie. So Gino cheesesteaks with Biscottis. These don't go together. <laughs> no, they don't. I, I don't. Hey, I don't see how that goes together. Who am I introducing? Gino Bisconti. Oh, G- okay. Gino Bisconti. Bisconti. I think you're hitting the A a little hard, the E a little hard. There. I think I'm about to hit you pretty hard. Oh! Now let me point out two things before I do this joke. One, you're not going to get it. Two, it's for third graders. So if you do, don't be like, oh, all right, you ready? I said, Nick, shout it out. I said, Nick, what's a pirate's favorite letter? 
That's what he said. And I looked at him, and I said, you think it's R, Nick, but pirates usually get lost at sea. Okay, so. <laughs> Write it down, Gatto. So my nephew. <laughs> Joe will be kicking my ass in the parking lot while the kitchen staff yells on delay. So my nephew. <laughs> Once again, turns it into the greatest thing ever. He doesn't even laugh. He's like, how did you, how did you do that? And I'm like, do what, Uncle Gino? He's like, how did you know? How did you know I was going to say R? And I'm like, Nick, that, that's part of the joke. They're always going to guess R. And he's like, every time? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, Nick, every time. <laughs> okay. So now it's two years later. He's still in third grade, the little retard. It's two years later. <laughs> Trying like a son of a bitch. <laughs> and he's still doing the joke, right? He'll see somebody new, right? And he'll look at me like, all right, Uncle Gino, let's do this shit, right? And then he'll look at the new person and be like, hey, what's a pirate's favorite letter? And the person thinks they're smart and they don't want to hurt his feelings. So they'll be like, is it R, Nick? And he'll look at me like, Uncle Gino is David fucking Blaine. <laughs> And then you look at the new person and nail the punchline. You think it's R, but they tend to get lost at sea. What a dumb cunt, Uncle Gino. And I will tell you. <laughs> way to clap, Angel. You know why you clap? Because you got it. You're like, he loves his nephew. And then I zagged all the way over to cunt. You have no idea what I'm talking about. You... <laughs> it's another one of those jokes. If you get offended, you're an idiot because you would think... To, to get offended by that, you would have to think my nephew learned the word cunt from his mother. Do you think he did? No. He learned the behavior cunt from his mother. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> oh. Thank God for my nephew. My nephew does not fucking, like, here's another thing. My nephew's starting to play practical jokes on me, and he's gotten really good at it, but I finally found a way to get him back. This is what I do. I will take my nephew's Ritalin, and I'll replace it with Viagra. And let me tell you, <laughs> it really gives him something to focus on, okay? <laughs> and of course you're laughing at that because you were raised, right? And you know it's a joke. My nephew, if you, that's another one like the Anne Frank Diary. If you didn't laugh at that, you took it literally. And this time you gave yourself the visual of me giving Viagra to a 10-year-old boy. Like, I'm going to do that again. Three times is enough. I get it. The dick on this kid. Okay. My nephew does not take fucking Ritalin. He does run around the house like a crazy person. Thank God, because he's a normal, healthy, 10 year, 11 year old boy with good parents. Look, I've been saying, I've always, thank God, I've always been like this. I've always been hyper. One time, my dad got the call from school, Gino's fucking around in class again. The mouth on that nun. But when my dad, <laughs> when my dad got that call, a 50 five-year-old Sicilian man who used to have three drinks at breakfast. Boy, could mom take a punch. I will tell you, thank you. To this day, whenever I see a woman bleeding, I want pancakes. When, it's a funny word. When my dad got that call, do you think my dad hung up the phone and said, well, let me go see what we have in the medicine cabinet? No, he beat the fucking shit out of me. Thank God, and he was, he would have, it would have hurt more, but he was laughing so hard, like, what the fuck is wrong? All right, look, but that's called parenting. That's why we have all these problems in this country, because people seem to forget that the word parent is also a verb. They just say, well, let's just have the fucking government raise our kids, and let's not teach our kids not to kill someone. We'll try and get rid of all the guns. Suck a dick, couldn't resist. I don't have time. <laughs> Raise your fucking kids. Nowadays, but in defense of parents, they're brainwashed. Oh, my son's not paying attention in school. He must have ADD. No, no, he doesn't. Your son has something called an asshole for a DAD. That's what he has. That's right. That's S P E L L I N G W H O R E. Now, here's another one. We are getting ruined by fucking, oh, I'm depressed, I need Prozac. No, 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 you need cocaine, okay? Let me tell you, I cannot wait to start my day. I'm brushing my teeth, this is fucking amazing. <laughs> Fuck you, gingivitis. <laughs> One tooth left, come on, choppy, let's go get eggs. <laughs> oh, 
I can't get an erection anymore. I must need Viagra. Really, Grandpa? Because you are 90 years old. Daylight should give you a hard on. If I hit 85, I'm gonna jerk off every time I exhale. Not dead Yahtzee. They cannot wait to fucking get you to take shit you don't need. They have a patch for everything now. Birth control patch, smoking patch, just came out most recently with an Alzheimer's patch, and a pack of 20 is $6,000. People, if you're having trouble remembering shit and need to stick something on your arm, a pack of Post-its is a buck 50, okay? <laughs> Dude, you look lost, what's your name? I don't fucking, <laughs> oh, my name is Gino, look at that. I just fucking... Where do you live? I'm fucking, I don't know. I, oh, 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 I live in Brooklyn. Who the fuck are you? What are you doing at the CVS? I don't know. This just says nephew Viagra 10 inches. I don't even know. <laughs> don't listen to the shit on TV. The human body is an amazing thing. You know when you're sick. You, if you have to be convinced by a commercial that you have something wrong with you, you're fine. Okay? You're fucking fine. Never was that more apparent than this recent ad that came out. It's such an insult to us as people. It's like, if you're given to sudden fits of laughing or crying, you need to take this drug. The fuck you do? <laughs> laughing and crying is, uh, what's the word? Oh, yeah. It's fucking called being alive. Those are the two extremes. You understand that? Otherwise, you're doing 37 miles an hour down the highway of life avoiding speed bumps. When you are laughing, it's a rush. And even when you're crying, it's a rush. So fuck them. You should laugh every day. You should cry every day. Have you ever done them both at the same time? Oh, it's a rush. That happened to my girlfriend the other day. We were having sex, and I farted. And in the middle of crying, she started laughing, people. I'm Gina Biscotti. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's like I mean you it's can't movie, movie magic you just can't. it's just amazing <laughs> yeah. just uh, I can't believe he called my mom Miss Partridge though but we've been down that road if you guys weren't at the pod fest for those who weren't there there was someone over to the left well you're right if you're looking at the stage um, <clears throat> to the left of Gino on stage and uh, wasn't that your cousin Mike or something uh, that, like, my brother-in-law Gino yeah. oh yeah he was just peppering him it was great it was great. Pepper Fireball. Him. I gotta tell you, it's great. <laughs> He's like the Tommy Gun of comedy. <laughs> um, Frank, why did you decide on those top or bottoms? We did magic with it since you just got here. Because we kind of, you know, we did. We kind of did a, a little, throwback 2016 with that. Because that was emo when, too. when the podcast was was in uh, 2016, so we threw it back. I bundled up. You are. You're looking a little. And ironically low. enough, just to let you guys know, we're listening. We're keeping it real throwback because actually, the day we recorded this. Is Thursday. <laughs> Very true. Um, you know, I like to spice up things once in a while. I thought, you know, make top or bottom. Speaking of spice, guys, grab your legs. Don't mess uh, up. Is she down there? Why do I bother? Uh, <laughs> don't mess up my stuff while you're down there. <laughs> is Frankie in the well? I, I put her in the well. You had her ankles. I had her wrists. Wow, this is like a total. That vibe. was like the cleanest. Mom's down here, can you play my song? <laughs> What's your song? Believe in the beat. I don't even know what that means. Play it. Is that why you said believe? Yes. Oh, uh, how are we supposed to know that? We didn't finish it. All right, Frankie, get out of well. Why? A girl why in the well, uh, I feel like it's a Silence of the Lambs thing. Why? Why did you choose this list? I just said I chose. Am I muted? No, no you're no. out of the well. You probably just can't hear yourself in headphones. I can hear myself. I have it a little low today. Sorry. <sighs> I took a sip of that delicious. Tea? I just thought it would be good to spice it up, you know? We always top or bottom, some hidden gems in there. Yeah, that was good. I, I think, hope the people enjoyed it. I don't think we should say anything until it goes up. They'll be driving around in their car thinking they're listening to a normal top or bottom, and then all of a sudden, oh my goodness. They get a little Easter egg. <laughs> this is what you're talking this about? This is it? This so is good, from right? Breaking Two Electric Boot. Oh my god, uh, Turbo and Ozone! So good. Wait, why? <laughs> so. About two weeks ago, I sprained my ankle, uh -huh. and I had I was home on the couch, and driver Joe was taking care of me a little bit, you know. I saw Frank. Packs I saw Frankie like snaps of her foot and or of your cast. Amazingly, Breaking Two was on TV. This was like oh. my favorite movie as a kid. <laughs> this I is Breaking Two, Electric Boogaloo. Electric Boogaloo. Electric it, what, what is the plot? Like the boys club is getting ripped down? Uh, the community like, center. Miracles. Yes. The, the community miracles, center. Named Miracles. Uh -huh, named Miracles. Down. 
And there's only it's one way got to say everything it. you want. It's got like neon clothes. It's got a street battle between two gangs, a yeah. dance off, That's a, a oh, love story question. triangle. What came out first? Uh, beat it or break in two? Beat it as in like Michael, Michael Jackson. Jackson's song? Yeah, curious. Sydney Lesperance. Fact check, check, Fact check that because that's the same thing. Same plot. Play this song. Louder. Wait, beat playing it right now. These what do you mean, beat it the movie? Play no, it a little louder. Beat it the, the uh, music video. It's two gangs oh, dance yeah. fighting. Well, I mean, really, then we're going all the way back to West Side Story. It's the basic plot of any good movie from the 80s, but this song, this finale song, I feel I've decided is my spirit song of 2017. I believe in the beat. So, Frankie did ayahuasca. She heard this song. I don't know which way it's going to go, but. I believe in the beat. Yeah, she's going to sit a, down. And I like it. <laughs> who, who, who made, is that Canon Films? There's a documentary. I don't know if it's still on Netflix. They did a documentary about Canon Films. It was just like, like Chuck Norris movies, yeah. Bloodsport. Bloodsport. Like the Apple, all this stuff. These guys, Menachem Golem was his name, was just this guy and wanted to make movies. He would sell them before he made them, and he would just just spin gold or spin 80s style gold. 80s, 80s Vietnam movies were the joint. <laughs> like, like Delta Force. missing in action. Yeah, one, two, three, four, and five. Um, Uncommon Valor, Iron Eagle. Was that a Iron Eagle? Is that Lou Gossett? Okay, I don't know what you're talking about. What? But oh, hold on. on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. The other day, Risky Business was on. Great. Yeah, and all great. my whole life, I'm thinking I saw that movie. Yeah, I saw the movie. I you know that movie. It? Well, I, I you started saw the watching one it. scene where he slides into his I, underwear. Yeah. I, everyone knows that scene, sure. and I just put it in my head. Like, yeah, I saw it. But I watched it, and great movie, but so, so unrealistically. Like, you 1980s, look at it, bro. Yeah. 83. 83. And you look at it now, and you're just like, this could never happen. And, and the, the, the one, the, the lead woman. Joey Pantaleone is in this movie. She, Rebecca De Mornay. Uh, Rebecca De Mornay. That yeah. was, she was yes. in porn. Rebecca she was a porn actress. Really? She was? Yes. Before uh, that or 60, after that? 60%. Before that or after that? Maybe during. Wait, hold on. <laughs> who, is the, who is the guy Sorry, I can't said? come to set right Joey now. Joey Pant- 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 Is that Balky Bartok? Uh, no. No, no he's, in he's in it too. He's in it too. show. He's in it. So is Booger. Oh, Joey Pant- Yeah, Joey yeah, Pantaleone. Sopranos. Yes, yep. from everything. Yeah, and from Booger's in it. Booger's in it. Booger's in it. Isn't he his buddy who's like, sometimes you just got to say, what the F? Yeah. Joe. Listen, I'm just putting up a little reverb because I am going to be amazed. I really just want to see who can keep up with me. Uh huh. Clap your hands, everybody. Body. And everybody, everybody clap, clap your hands. Because we <laughs> lambda, 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 and <laughs> Omega Moves. And we uh, come here on stage tonight to do our show, show for you. you. We got a high tech rhythm and a high tech sound. That'll make your movie body down to the ground. We got Booger Presley on the violin. And Lewis saying uh, Gibbert will be joining in. We got, oh, Booger, Booger Presley's, Presley's on the main guitar. We got Poindexter Is it on, the on the violin. violin. And don't they play? Yeah, they play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And a oh. rap by Little Old Me Lamar. We got Hitachi beating on <laughs> the gong. The boys and the crew are rapping along. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I know that? Because it's pretty good. It's excellent. That is Revenge your, of the Nerds. Dude, when I was very, very little, very, very little, Revenge of the Nerds came on, and I just remember being so enamored with that scene when at the end he goes into the moon room oh, with yeah. the and I'm like, like as a little kid watching it, like very little, I was like, this is like porn to me. Like it like, is. It's this also is so cool. I think she was in her bra. Yeah. It's like, also <laughs> if you look at it, really, it's a it's an assault because he had no idea. She had no idea who that was. <laughs> Such a great movie. They don't make them like that. They anymore. don't make them like that anymore. What's the guy who played? What, what's the ogre's name? Is it ogre? He was on that show on HBO, the football show. I'm talking about. Yeah. I don't remember his name, but he he's the the he was in blood sport too. What's his yeah. name? <laughs> What's his name in nerds? Uh, is it ogre? It's ogre. It's ogre it in ogre. every. He's the last one thing. standing when they put the liquid heat in the jock straps. <laughs> <laughs> nerds. <laughs> his whole career, he made off of that. That's it. Right? What the hell was the name of that football show? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I'll I'll IMDb it, but I don't even know what that. I know the guy's name is Ogre. <laughs> Scripted or reality? Oh, no, it was scripted. What? On HBO. Type HBO 80s football comedy. Uh, what city do it, but... But it was 80s... In the 80s? And everybody clap your hand. Lambda, 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 and... Omega Moon. I nailed it. And we come here on stage His name is Donald Gibb. Do a show for you. We got a hot tech and, and a hot tech sound. That'll make it move your body down to the ground. We got Boog. Dexter on the violin. And Lewis 
saying Gilbert will be joining in. in. We got Booga Presley on the mean guitar. And, and a rap by little old me Lamar. We got Takashi beating on his gong. The, the boys and the crews are crapping along. And just when you thought you seen it all along comes a lambda for the tongue. That's it, dude. That's little I, little I, I totally remember that. That's the little genius. How did we kid. even get onto that con- con- that topic? We were talking about eighty stuff. It just gets you there. Hearts of Fire. No, we're still in the nineties here. Wow, he did a lot. Remember of stuff. Remember that movie Rad? Oh, love. Yeah, that movie. Rad was dope. Rad. Get ready that was to bikes, break right? the ice. <laughs> Feels like time is standing. Every eighties movie had a sweet <laughs> montage and an awesome song. Because I had to learn things you know, in the eighties. You know, and uh, 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 cousin uh, Aunt Becky. She's the book. Oh, yeah. Aunt Becky's the the girlfriend. She's doing the tricks on the bike. Well, as tradition states it on PBR Podcast, when uh, the intern is in the house, that was the name of the show? That might have been the name of the show. That might have been it. Um, Beating uh, Team Dennis, I guess. Uh, Dennis is on the show. He makes the game. Dennis, go. Are we not? Is Dan's not here? I don't think Dan's here today. Dan's here not here today? Uh, Dan's sick. Dan's not feeling good? Frank, he called you, right? I don't speak to him. You don't talk to Dan? Wait, really? How does he? Who does he? Who, who does talk to him? I think one he? of you guys send the script or something. I don't know. Uh, are we, should we check in the well? I don't know. Is he there? Look down in the well. See if Dan's there. Hey, everybody. <laughs> oh, he, maybe that's why well. he's always there. Hey, everybody. We never let him out. We never let him out. Dan Bottom here. I've been, I've been in the well for about a week. How, who's been feeding him? Well, people have been dropping down birds and whatnot. and just <laughs> kind of ripping off their heads and eating them. I'm great, though. I'm a, I'm a big guy. What? Dan Bond. That's B-O. D-D-U-N. Uh, I was going to say one question. How the hell do you spell your name? That's we had B-O. Some, we had some questions. D-D-N. <laughs> Dan Bottom. All right. What's the game? Is there an apostrophe? All right. The game is called Conspiracy Schmaspiracy. I'm going to read you a conspiracy, and you're going to tell me whether or not it's an actual conspiracy that Dennis researched and found on the internet. Or is it something he just made up in his wild imagination? Which is funny because most conspiracies are probably a joke anyway. Yeah. So it's actually is the conspiracy? They're probably. I'm, anyway, I'm appealing. I'm getting, to, uh, I like what you're doing. With I'm that, getting right. meta here. Yeah, you're yeah. getting meta. It's all right. You know, history majors. We love to evidence and conspiracy. I'm not a history I'm major. Why? You, know, you know, Mike is. I was. Anyway, here we go. Conspiracy or schmaspiracy? Did you the, just see that? The U.S. government. All those people peeking behind the curtain. Oh no, they're here. <laughs> are they here? Them. The U.S. government created the food pyramid in an effort to make most of the American people obese and easy to capture and enslave. Conspiracy? I mean, he had me at the beginning. Like at the, I guess they would want you to eat certain things that they can control. But then he went with the like fat and capture angle. Mm-hmm. I mean, there are so many conspiracies out there. And like, who's there to say are that so many? That people- you're conspir- Like, it's even like, how, who are you to judge whether it's true or not? Like, what is your source, Dennis? I, I, like I, I just the ate internet. A, <laughs> like I just ate an airhead. Day. <laughs> like I bet you, there's a, I just ate an airhead. I bet you there's a conspiracy about airheads that you eat it and it, it, it kills brain cells, so you eventually get more dumb. Fra- Fra- and you, the, it, it, they own you. Can you just Google airhead conspiracies while we're going Let's through do, this? Yeah, I'm saying bullshit. You're saying it's a schmaspiracy. I'm saying conspiracy. Con- <laughs> con- wait, conspiracy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> schmaspiracy. Please Schmaspir- keep, keep yeah. trying. It's like Derek Schmerick or, or Mike Schmike. Yeah, you got conspiracy. It. Conspiracy. That's it's. No, not. You can't get it. No, we're gonna wait. No, it should be conspiracy. Conspiracy. No, it's Conspir- not. Conspiracy. You can't tell him his game. I can't. Wait, how, well, you're this saying is an even better part. You're of saying conspiracy. Conspiracy. Schmaspiracy. Conspiracy. Schmaspiracy. That's dumb. <laughs> Keep going. What you just what, met him? Schmaspiracy. What do you think? Is it a schmaspiracy? So dumb. I think schmaspiracy. <laughs> yes. It is a schmaspiracy. Yeah, yeah, I made that up. Of course you did. Of course it is. Next one. Four Jay-Z course. is a time-traveling vampire. <laughs> My, uh, All right, wait, hold on a second. Hold on. Okay. This is so ridiculous. It Let's is. think about this. It is. He, he's, his basis for truth is that he found it on the internet. So it's yes. not whether or not it's a conspiracy or... I'm conspiracy. not saying... Yeah, 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 I'm not going to do any research saying, on these. I'm saying, is this a conspiracy that I found, on or is internet. it one that I made up? Oh, okay. Well, uh, so then you yeah. def- just by definition of this game, you found that on the internet. But I want to know, the question is, what did you type to find that? <laughs> well, and then I threw the computer away. <laughs> probably, the thing is that there are pictures, you look at like, you look like, uh, you could type in like old timey picture of Jay-Z and there's a little kid who looks just like Jay-Z from like the 1800s or something. Mm-hmm. And there's another, p- <laughs> but there's pictures of. Nothing. Nothing. Crickets. Well, I, I don't Hold know what on, you meant by that. Hold on, say it one more time. 
Well, you could go online and look and look up like Jay Z in <laughs> early 1900s or late 1800s. And there's a picture of a kid that looks just like Jay Z now. So I, I, I feel like in going in that realm, I'm saying some weirdo dumb person made this an actual conspiracy. Yes. So you're saying conspiracy. Yes. Mike? Yeah. Conspiracy? It is an actual conspiracy yeah. I found yeah. online that people literally think that Jay Z is a time traveling vampire. There's actually another, there's a picture of, uh, of um, Tiger Woods too, or something that looks exactly. I mean, if, Nicolas Cage gets it a lot too. Oh yeah, if, yeah. If yeah. vampires are real, it would only make sense that they're famous. Mm. Mm. A lot of access to all that. Delicious I mean, you're around stuff. so long. You know what I mean. You, you have powers. You have. You can like like. I mean, depending on which realm you're talking about, you can control the mind. Mm. Like, of course, you would be famous. Jay Z's from the Brooklyn chapter <laughs> of, uh, of, of of vampires. Vampire in Brooklyn. Yeah. <clears throat> The Kardashian women are actually alien demons, and they feed off and destroy the men in their lives. For instance, Robert Kardashian, a man who speaks for a living, dies of throat cancer. Bruce Jenner, a symbol of masculinity, starts to undergo sexual reassignment treatments. Khloe Kardashian marries Lamar Odom, and he is eventually found comatose in a Nevada wow. brothel. Kim Kardashian marries Kanye West, and, and now Kanye crazy. is losing his mind. Conspiracy or schmaspiracy? You just read it. That's fact. Like, oh my god, I never thought about it. Why are people not talking about that? <laughs> I don't For like real. them. <laughs> it's crazy, right? So I'm saying, can you argue that that's accurate? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty accurate. So you're saying conspiracy? Uh, listen, I'm not even playing a game right now. Like, you just blew my mind. Why are they not in prison? They're a cult. <laughs> They're Kardashian. a man hating cult. Oh, 100 percent a Kardashian cult. It's definitely a cult. They have a cult following. They're killing every man. And you left out the fact that their brother Rob is all effed up now. He's all messed and up. And where's that dude Steve she was married to? Steve? Google that shit. Wasn't Oh, he that other guy, the yeah. next player. No. No, no, no. Oh, no, the uh, the guy from the Clippers. No, the little white dude with the slick hair. I, he was like... Z. Wasn't she married, he was wasn't married, married to, to someone for like no, 76 days? No, it wasn't days? Kim, man. It was... Chloe? No. No, the good looking one. The other one, not Kim and not Courtney. Chloe. Courtney, no, oh, that guy, the, Scott the, Disick. The, the Scott, Scott Disick. Oh, yeah. uh, Where's he? Huh? Who knows? Huh? I think he's just, that Sydney. Actually, I think he's very rich and has he's a lot of cars. The, maybe, maybe he <laughs> he's was. Converted. Yeah, he so converted you're saying what? conspiracy? He's, he's part of the cult. He's now. part of the cult. <laughs> <clears throat> maybe he's, he's a drinking woman. the Kool Aid. Hmm. Conspiracy. 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 No, no, not a conspiracy. No, not a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy, though. I made that up. But it's really yeah, good. Really you wrote that? I wrote that. Wow. You wrote truth. Frank, I'm thinking fine. that maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe I was onto something. Not a conspiracy. Real. <laughs> the moon oh, doesn't exist. Stop. It, it does, and it's fake. It's a hologram. We've, it's not a hologram. It's fake, though. So I, I the hologram is real. <laughs> no, the hologram. It's not a hologram. It's you think actually, it's the wrong conspiracy? Like the Death Star? Uh huh. Yeah, you're on the you're out, you're scratching up the wrong pole. 100. <laughs> percent That's a conspiracy. conspiracy. I'm sure people think that, and they're dumb. The moon is 100% man-made. Sure. That's fact. There's also cheese on it. <laughs> no, there's no cheese. Yeah, I'll just save everybody for this. This is a conspiracy. I found it online. Yeah. I only included it to just make Mike feel better. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump is actually an actor named Terry Donahoe, and he was hired by the New York elite no. to be a lightning rod for negative attention so that the New York elite can carry out their nefarious plots unabated. No, that's not real, because Donald Trump's been around a long time. Well, that's, yeah, that's right. I mean, it. You know, some people call me T. Why? I don't know. Uh. <laughs> Nobody calls you that. Nobody calls you that. My close family do. Oops, did I say that out loud? It's a schmaspiracy. Yeah, I made that yeah, up. That was bad. Yeah, I don't believe in that because you're an idiot. Saved by the Bell was a vehicle for the Illuminati. Oh, jeez. Turns out that the high school comedy Saved by the Bell was riddled with hidden messages endorsing Satanism. <laughs> that was the true intention of the show's creators and its stars, as well as the hidden messages in the theme song. 100% people believe that's true because people are idiots. That's a conspiracy. What's hidden in the theme song? Do you have examples? Well, you wake up in the morning. Yeah. And your alarm gives out a warning. I don't think, I don't think, think I'll ever I would make, it, make it, on it on time. By the time I grab my books oh, and I give myself a look. I'm at the corner just in time to see the bus fly by. But it's all right. It's all right. Because we're saving the bell. Yeah. I don't find any conspiracy in that. Murder. Did you hear that? Worship the dark one. Worship the dark one. See, the, see now. The, Are you playing that backwards? I, I was going to say... <laughs> you. The clever way to play that would have said if you play the theme song to save what about backwards. That's a hard one to find. I still think yeah. it's a conspiracy. People are dumb. I'm going to type that in see if it comes up. See if it comes up. 
Mike, you think it's a conspiracy or is oh it my a God. conspiracy? <clears throat> uh, I think. Wait, wait, I now think, you're looking it up online. You might be able to. <laughs> oh my God. Mix. Save by the bell, satanic backwards message. No. Oh my God. Well, it's a conspiracy. When I wake up in the morning and the long gets out of water, I don't think I'll ever make what? it on. All right, hold on. Hold on. I think they're playing it the, the, the first way first. Right, well, okay. Forward through. Okay. Scrub. Well, I think it's, I think people, this is a tr- real conspiracy, obviously. Yeah. I, a, what I said, conspiracy. conspiracy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I got a couple okay, more if go. you guys want to keep going. Here we go. Here Let we go. go. Hold on. Man, I miss my Satan. We're all Satan. Man, I miss my Satan. We're all saved. And I miss my Satan. We're all saved. Yo. I heard none of that except okay, for you saying. Okay, now, now listen. Zero chance. Man, I miss my Satan. We're all saved. <laughs> Zero chance. There's none of that coming through. Just like they thought Don Henley when he wrote Hotel California was completely satanic as well. Wow. Do you know that? You know? Lightly. Hotel California. I hope everybody at home can get a towel. But they just can't towel. kill the beast. Yeah. Yeah. People think that he's talking about the devil. The warm like, smell of Kalitas. Well, like, no, he, he kind of is talking about the devil. He's like, it's a drug. Yeah, but he's not. It's not. It, they, they, they said if you play it backwards as well, that song. Okay. The Denver airport is the home of all evil from the New World Order. Denver's international airport is the epicenter of all world evil. And there are cryptic signs Why Denver? all no. over the airport. That's a schmo- 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 Why Denver? Yeah. I mean, like, what? I can think of probably some more airports that are way shittier. Right. <laughs> So, Schmaspiracy? Actual conspiracy. If you take yeah. a look at the Denver airport, they say that the uh, the Illuminati and the New World Order constructed it to look like a swastika. Oh, Get Jesus. Yeah, and then inside there, there's all kinds of weird artwork. Shut up. What do I smell? Do I smell? I smell some good food before. Is food here? I think you do. Oh. Ooh, doggy. Whee! There we go. Whee! Well, hey now. <laughs> Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was a little, uh, yeah, little off fun. the cuff. Throw back 2016, the uh, Ezra Park uh, Comedy Podcast. Hit best. the way back machine. All I did, the way right? We all did. That was good. I liked it. Enjoyed it. You got anything to plug on the way out? At Dennis the Intern on Twitter. I think we should make it part of his job to plug Sydney. Oh, yeah. And Sydney Asperance. Uh, what do you say? Did you say Sydney, Sydney, Sydney Asperance? I got all, got all tongue-tied. At Sydney Lesperance. At Sydney Lesperance. Our fact checker. Yeah. Uh, I'm at the Derek D on Twitter. You can follow me there. Uh, P- PBR Podcast, you can find us on the web, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And Instagram. If you give us some love. What will we do? Someone has once said that uh, we'll, we'll love you back. back. Uh, that's nice. It's a circle. It's a circle. It's a circle. We'll talk about something real here. Oh, yeah.